Item elevators are very useful things, and I'm going to show you how to build three different kinds. The first one we're going to build is the water elevator, or the bubble column elevator, whatever you want to call it. And what I've done with all three chests here is I've included the items we need for this, but I've split it into two categories. The top section here are the items you will definitely need in the quantities you will definitely need. And then these items down here are the items that their number will change depending on how tall you end up making the elevator. Obviously, if you make it taller, you'll need more. If you make it shorter, you'll need less. But these items here, you will definitely need in these quantities. The first thing you want to do is place your dropper so it's pointing straight up like this. And then from here, you want to take your comparator, face it away from the dropper like this and then connect a redstone dust to it, and then place one repeater pointing away, one repeater like this pointing into the comparator, and then right click on the comparator like that, so this light is lit up, and then use the rest of your redstone dust to connect everything up like so. This will let you place multiple things into the dropper at once, and it'll just keep resetting itself, constantly spinning things out one at a time like that. Once that's done, you then need to take two hoppers and then connect them to the sides of the dropper like that. Place one chest on the hopper furthest away like that. And then take your soul sand block and place it on top of the dropper like so. Then from here, we're going to be making the water column tubing section so you want to crouch first to be able to right click onto the hopper below you and place a glass block and then you want to come around the edges of the soul sand and not like that you want to place glass blocks on all four sides like that and then from here you just continuously make the column larger like so constantly putting one on each side as you go up until you reach whichever height you want to get to uh, we're going to stop here for now and then from here you want to place two glass blocks like that jump up onto the side here and then at this point you can just move along and then continue to extend this section out as far as you need once you have got it as far as you want to go to the point where you want to place your chest down what you do is you place your chest on the edge like that you then need to break these two blocks like that and then you want to switch to your hoppers again and then shift clicking attach them to the chest like so and then place another block like that to stop the water flowing over the edge down onto the floor now you don't need to use the glass blocks for this you can use any block that you want to uh, the reason i'm using glass is because it makes it easier to show you how everything works because then you can see how the items move through the system and then with this done you switch to your water bucket place it on the topmost block here so that it travels down towards the soul sand and then across here filling this top section up as well like that and then finally all you need to do at this point is to dive down to the bottom of the water like getting it right like that and then place your kelp all the way up as far as it will go and then you need to go back down once more to break the bottom block and that will create your bubble column there and then switch back to your glass or whatever blocks you're using and you want to block off at least the first two sections you can do all three if you want to but getting the first two is important uh, we'll do three just so it looks a little bit nicer and then that is this elevator done with that completed you can then place any item you want into the chest here and it'll cycle through into the dropper and then spit everything up through the bubble column, through the water column, and then everything will end up being placed into the chest, like so. Nice and simple. 
The next one is the solid block elevator, which takes advantage of the way that the game is coded, where it just keeps bouncing entities up solid blocks until it finds a space. The items needed for this kind of elevator are mostly the same. The only things different from the water column one are the fact that we're missing the soul sand and the kelp because we're not making a water elevator this time. Same as before, you want to place your dropper pointing straight up into the sky like that. And then we're doing the exact same redstone circuit with the repeaters pointing in like this and then the redstone dust like that. So it looks exactly like this, same as the water elevator. And then you want to go back to your hoppers, connect them to the dropper like so with your chest on the furthest most one. And then this is where it differs from the water elevator one. What we're going to do is we're going to make a three by three grid of blocks with the center of the grid over the dropper like so. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to repeat this all the way to the top to as high as you're going to be building this. And then once we get there, we're going to be making the same water channel as before. with a slight caveat, with a slight requirement to how it's built at the top. So we're gonna finish here. And we're gonna make the water channel at this point. And it's the exact same as that one. You just go ahead and extend out as far as you need to, uh, need it to be. But the important thing to remember is the block immediately after the center. So the one that's over the hopper the block that's right next to that going down the channel needs to remain a solid block. You cannot change this for, for a hopper. That needs to remain solid, otherwise it just won't work. Um, but what you can do is we've got two extra here coming out this side, so we are fine to place the chest like that. Remove these two blocks like so. Place the hopper one and two like that, connected to the chest. And then as before, we place another block over the second hopper there. Switch to our water source. Come to this back block. And then make it flow like that. And again, we're going to just make a cover for the top section here. Just to stop any blocks flying up, maybe over the sides kind of thing. And again, we're going to just go ahead and cover all the water so it looks nice. And that is this elevator done. And you'll see if we put the rest of our blocks into the chest, the items just kind of float up the middle. They float up the middle and then they will find themselves in the chest, which I can't go and check because I've used up all of my blocks. Hang on, I need to go and borrow some from here. Let me just borrow these glass blocks. Hang on. Let's just borrow these so we can verify that the glass has made it in there. There we go, 12 glass blocks, perfect. And then finally, we have the dropper elevator. Now this one is different from the other two, obviously, because there is no water involved at all. And instead, we're gonna be passing the items upwards from dropper to dropper until we've reached the top. Once again, we're gonna start with the dropper facing skywards, only this time, we're going to keep adding to it. We're gonna just keep jumping, shift clicking, so we can continue to add droppers as high as we want them to go. We're just going to stop there so I don't die when I fall off. Because that would be bad. And then from this point, the redstone circuitry is going to be a little bit different. We're going to start with a comparator as normal. But we're going to go straight into a repeater. And then we're going to go into a block. And then here we're going to place a redstone torch on this side. And then we're going to just hop up onto this block. And then you want to place one, two, three blocks like so. So currently it should look like this from the side. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove this second block in the middle. Because what we're going to be doing is using an observer and connecting it to the topmost block here. So that the arrow is pointing downwards into this block. With that done, you can then go ahead and remove that top block because we don't need that anymore. And then you want to go ahead and grab your second repeater 
and you want to face it away from this block here. So you want to point it in this direction, pointing towards the stack of droppers there. And you want to set that to three ticks like so. At this point, you want to shift click to place a block there and then switch to your redstone torch. And you want to place one redstone torch on the side facing the droppers and one directly on top where you are currently standing. Whilst you're here, place the redstone dust on top of the observer, like so. And then this is where the redstone torch chain begins. You want to place a block on top of that torch, jump up onto it, and then switch back to your redstone torch. And then you want to put one torch on this side, one torch on this side. And then you want another block on top of this torch, like that. Jump up onto it. And then you want a redstone torch on this side. Place a block on top of that. And at this point, you should be able to see where the pattern is just repeating. You're placing two redstone torches on one block. You place a block on the torch away from the stack. Place another redstone torch. And then you just keep doing this, uh, placing blocks on top of the torches, etc, etc, until you get to the very top, like so. Now, if your stack of droppers finishes at this point, finishes in line with the redstone torch, you can just stop there, that's fine. If it goes one block higher, you don't need to add any more redstone torches after this. What you need to do here instead is just get a solid block and then just place it on top of that torch like that. Because then this powers that dropper right there. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and with the topmost set of double torches, like we've got one torch on this side here, one torch on this side here, you don't need this second one there because you're not going to be powering a block above that any higher than where the droppers go. So you can just remove that one like I just did. And then of course you can go ahead, place your chest on top of this dropper if you want to, or you can feed it into a, a set of hoppers. Uh, you can make a water channel like those ones there. How you finish the top of this is entirely up to you, but for the sake of ease, we're gonna place a chest on top. And then that is, once again, this elevator done. At which point, you just attach your hopper and then your second chest here. So you've got something to feed into the bottom. And then you can place your items. Let's not place all of them in this time. You can place your items into the chest. And you'll see the lights make their way upwards. They kind of follow a pattern. Which is passing all the items slowly up into that chest up there. And if we go ahead and just tower up, we'll be able to see. There you go. 23 items. And there we go. Three working item elevators for Minecraft. Hope you've enjoyed this, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.